And the man who is coming to town, Custom Street today, is Ibrahim Agudi, uh, acting chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. And he's the one who will be closing the markets for the first time, I guess. I haven't seen that before. Uh, but of course, we told you earlier, the relationship between the EFCC and the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Let's uh, get a sense of one of the traders who may likely be having a handshake with Ibrahim Magudi, anti-graft chief today, uh, Rotimi Fakaijo from Enterprise Stockbrokers. Good morning, Rotimi. Thanks for coming through on the phone. Good morning, my, uh, Boston. Would you likely be uh, at the floor later today, 2.30 local time, to have a handshake with Ibrahim Magudi, FCC uh, chairman. And if you do, what would you be telling him? Ah, well, uh, in, in such forum, there's usually no room for much discussion uh, because they're usually represented by the union for the day. But if I venture there is an opportunity, uh, I believe uh, is to uh, tell him uh, about the good work that he's been doing and that uh, uh, the uh, equity market is equally an avenue uh, for uh, people to be encouraged and uh, the kind of uh, satellite put on the market sometimes can scare away some people, but there can be other machineries with which things can go on smoothly and there won't be any um, setback concerning either the investor or the market itself. But what I'm saying in essence is that um, there can be a more better working relationship between the ESCC and the Nigerian equity market. And I believe that that will be discussed in full with the CEO of Nigerian Stock Exchange. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, the working relationship between the stock market and the EFCC, uh, do you think the EFCC is really necessary uh, in the market? Uh, well, I think uh, since the equity market is a wealth haven for a lot of people, a lot of money is in the market. And uh, yes, we make reports to NSIU all the time, and uh, we make renditions to the Security and Exchange Commission, which is the police of the market. But also, there are times that situations are arising that require the need of the ESCC to do further investigation. So they, the CEO of Stock Exchange will brief him and his team, and they will know what questions to ask whenever the need arises. So there is need for that working relationship, and there is need for ESCC to partner with the market. Yeah, I agree with you. There's a need to keep a, a tab on, on illicit money, isn't it, in the market, and those who, exactly. who, who misbehave uh, as far as the market is concerned, because those are people's investments, isn't it? Money, pensions, exactly. salaries, and what have you. Very correct. That is good for the, for the Eagle to Land and the Exchange. Okay, let's have about one or two minutes uh, to take us through. What is, uh, uh, what's Thursday looking like as far as the uh, pre-open is concerned? Well, uh, Thursday is looking positive. So it's starting very slow on that note. The market is 0.05%. It is still the um, um, uh, food, uh, food and beverage that is the consumer good that is still driving the market. And we believe that um, uh, the uh, in that industrial goods will also do better as you go in the market. Because I still believe that a lot of stock in that, because in that sector, like particularly in the part of the has a lot of potential. So I believe that uh, now we started very positively and we've been positive. Since the beginning of the week, I believe it's most likely that uh, we see it ending the same way uh, for today. Rotimi Fakaija from Enterprise Stockbrokers, thank you for your time today. And we hope you have uh, make profit while you do trading this Thursday, the fourth trading day of the week. But this, of course, is the tenth day in the month of August. We'll return tomorrow, Friday, same time, 10 a.m., local time here, with a brand new edition of Business Morning. Uh, until then, uh, I'm signing off. Goodbye from Lagos, and I will see you at the other side. <laughs>